Okay, once again, another tutorial about how to pick the optimum song key for any given worship song. And again, I'm not getting paid anything to do this. This is all for free. And this is because uh, God put it on my heart to teach other worship leaders and praise band leaders how to, how to do things right and effectively. So, uh, <clears throat> previously we had the song, O Come, All Ye Faithful. We had it. We had it in the key of C major. We had it in the key of C major. And we, we just took it in any key. We figured out its its highest note. And we adjusted the song key so that the highest note um, is about middle C. And that landed our song on the key, key signature of F major. And because that's hard for guitarists to play because of all the bar chords, um, we changed that down to E major, which is the easiest key. For guitar to play. So again, if you're a piano player, you want to make it easier for your guitarist. If you're a guitar player, you want to make it easy for the pianists. So, E major. I printed this out from Song Select. This is the first search that came up. And um, first of all, before we do this, we need to make sure that, that the song, the highest and lowest notes are within the range of the highest note needs to be middle C or below. Ooh. And then the lowest note needs to be to this A register number two. Ooh. That's pretty darn low. Ooh. So that's our range. Ooh. So in the key of E. It's a pretty low note, but it's still below, it's still above the A. Oh, come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. That's looking good. It's below this middle scene, it's above A register two. Come, there's a high note. Uh, B octave register three, one note below middle C. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. That's still above the A. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, 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 come let us adore him. Oh, come let us adore him. Him, Christ, the Lord. Great. All of those notes are below, are below the middle C. You can see this. Ooh, ooh. Our highest note was a B, so that's perfect. And going down to this A octave register two. Ooh. It, our lowest note was actually right here. Oh, come on, we faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. So that's above the A, so that's perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. The key of E major for Oh, come all ye faithful is the most singable, and it's also going to be easy for our guitarist. And if you're thinking this is a lot of work, it is. That's why if you're a praise and worship leader and the church has lots of people donating, you need to ask for income so that you can spend the time to have quality. People get what they pay for. If they pay their priests, just like God had it set up in the Old Testament, um, then they're going to have high quality worship. But if they skimp on giving their money to the Lord, they're going to have low quality worship. And in Old Testament times, when they skipped altogether paying the priests, the priests went home and they became farmers because nobody cared about the Lord, unfortunately. So thank God in America, most people give money and, and the church can use some of that money to pay the worship leaders so they can go through this process for every song uh, to make it high quality. So the next thing we're going to do is look at the chord chart. Um, again, I printed this out in E major, and we're just going to take a look and see what's up, 
what is up with all these chords. Um, there's a lot of them, so we need to eliminate some of them so that guitarists can have an easier time switching around the chords. Um, and some people might think, well, the guitar should be better um, so that they can switch chords faster. I've been playing guitar for 20 years, and some people think I'm an expert at guitar, though I'm really not. Uh, but I'm an expert at playing chords on a guitar uh, in terms of the worship realm, and, and it is hard when you have a bunch of chords back to back. It kills my hand and it kills my spirit of worship because it's, it's easier to change chords on a piano than on a guitar. It's as simple as that. It's about your hand position. So we'll take a look at this. We'll eliminate some of these unnecessary chords and then go from there. Thanks and God bless.